And from the district, Washington, D.C., I'm Blake Suniga with our so-called experts, Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, and we're glad you could join us for this matchup. And now, here are your starting lineups as we get ready for the tip-off just moments away. And we should be in for a rebounding battle in this one. Both of these teams love to control the boards. So what are your thoughts on this matchup, Tim? Well, I mean, no rebounds are going to come easy in this one. These squads know how to box out. They know how to get physical, and they'll be working hard for those extra possessions. We'll have to keep an eye on who's getting more second chance points because in that tug of war under the hoop, that's going to be the best indicator for who's going to win. And Allen gets it to go. They get the first bucket. And they'll hope that sets the tone at the offensive end going forward. Yeah, sometimes that first bucket can, can really set a tone, as you said, for the rest of the game. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Cloud. Beyond the arc. Hits it from three-point range. This is just unselfish basketball at its finest. You just know that Sykes' teammates appreciate her willingness to share the wealth. Allen with it. She's covered by Cloud. Allen with it. Amanda Zawibi with the block. And she's able to get it back. Drills it from outside. Can score from anywhere on the court. And McBride has really taken on that alpha personality type. Now here's Della Don. Outside Atkins. Zowie B a screen. Back to Della Don. Six on the shot clock. The shot that time not on target. Allen with it. Now Atkins defending. Miller. She's covered by Cloud. Another kick out to McBride. Over Sykes. And the basket by McBride. Inside, outside. Collier can score from anywhere on the floor. Pass to Deladon. Sykes. Deladon a screen. Cloud with it. Back to Sykes. And stolen by Kayla McBride. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. And here's Bannum from deep. Atkins grabs the board. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at that end of the court. Deladon a screen. Pass to Cloud. Launches it. Goes right through for bucket number three. She's a perfect three for three. Credit to Cloud. Her three-point percentage has significantly increased during her time in the league. to McBride. Miller. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Deladon inside. Collier's there. And good that time. The size of Deladon is a lot for a defense, especially when she's looking to scoring close. To the middle. Here's Bannum. He can't get that one. Great D that time from Natasha Cloud. Pass to Deladon, and the shot goes in. Well played right there. There's no question which team has the momentum. It does look like this lead is headed north. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They got to score. And here's Bannum. She's covered by Cloud. Bannum, no good. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Out to Atkins. Sykes. Pass to Cloud. Five on the clock. Della Don covered by Collier. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. It's going to be on Nafisa Collier. Such a vintage move, and it leads to free throws for Deladon, who is no stranger to the line. The first one falls. Both good at the line. And Deladon is someone her teammates love sharing the floor with. A selfless player that just wants to win. Can they get it? 
that shot off. And no good. And that does it for the first quarter. Mystics ahead, up by nine. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Lopsided first quarter in the books as we get ready to begin the second quarter. And for the Mystics, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Scoring has come in threes for the most part so far. Yeah, and every time down the floor, it seems like they're hitting a triple. Now here's Deladon. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. Down low. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. Well, as Zawi B's court vision improves, so will her playmaking ability. I'm already seeing the growth. Pass to Carlton. Expanding her range. Drills the three-pointer. Three points. The Mystics on offense. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. Back to Deladon. Here's Walker Kimbrough. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And her first shot of the game, no good. Pass to Allen. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Over the last few seasons, the average salary of WNBA players has significantly risen. The average salary in 2022, it's more than the maximum salary in 2017, just five years earlier, which is a great, great sign for the league. That's key for many reasons. The less players that go overseas, the less injuries we will see. And that starts with salaries in the WNBA. Now here's Della Don. Ten points for her. Here's Walker Kimbrough. And that one hits back iron. The Lynx trailing. Pass to Allen. To the wing on the left. Here's Milich, covered by Walker Kimbrough. Here's Allen. It's rebounded by Elena Deladon. And here's Washington. Now Walker Kimbrough. The shot's good on the assist by Elena Deladon. Over the course of her outstanding career, we've seen Deladon become a willing passer, increase her assist numbers. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. Pass to Allen. To the paint. There's the three. And the Lynx miss again. The Mystics with the lead. Deladon inside, and she banks in the layup. Maybe the best score we've ever seen. Deladon can score anywhere, and at 6'5", she can score on anyone. Here's Carlton. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Allen. Miller covered by Walker Kimbrough. That one drops for her. Pass to Collier. Another three for Minnesota. What a selfless decision by Collier. She sees someone with a better look, gets in the ball. Cloud with it. She's got nine. Pass to Zawi B. Back to Cloud. This one for three. Mystics keep it alive. And the basket by Deladon. He got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. Here's Bannum. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. No matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to cut it. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Now 
here's Cloud. She's tightly guarded. Sykes. It's rebounded by Anksel. Here's the three. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The Mystics on top, up seven. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Second half about to get started up again any moment. What can you say? Alina Della Don, an impressive effort here today. It's amazing to watch. She spoils us with her performances game in, game out. And so far, another big scoring night for her. And oftentimes, when she puts up that many points in the first half, she follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. From deep, Ariel Atkins buries it from three-point range. A dynamic and efficient distance shooter, Atkins has established her perimeter presence. Now here's Allen. She's covered by Cloud. Inside. Drops in the layup for two. Nice speed by the forward. Collier has a solid passing skills for a big, a real new age front court player who does it all. Pass to Deladon. Deladon a screen. Sykes up top. McBride covering. Cloud can't get it to go. The Lynx trailing to the inside. And the basket by McBride. The catalyst of the team, McBride is dependent on for buckets, and I'll tell you, she usually delivers. That was a second look at our Mobile One drive. Amazing control on display. I like that determination, trying to do everything to keep this game within reach. Now here is Sykes, looking for her first basket still in this one. Natasha Cloud can't get that one to fall. Well, Natasha Cloud is a player who just gets better every year she's out there. The second round pick out of a smaller school, Cloud fought for a spot in this league, and now she's thriving. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Della Dawn left side. Pass to Sykes. Della Dawn a screen. Right side Atkins. Another miss by Washington. And looking at point guard Natasha Cloud, her numbers have improved each season. And Cloud having a great 2019 playoffs, helping the Mystics win their first WNBA championship. And off the floor, on the front lines of social justice initiative, and Natasha Cloud always ready to speak her mind and make a difference. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Cloud. From the arc. Doesn't go for her. Some of the shots she's taken today have been absolute head scratchers. She's out there playing like it's a game of horse, and it's not. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and get back into this game. And it was their defense, just as much as their offense, that served as the catalyst and allowed them to put this run together. What a display. And it's Atkins missing. Now here's Allen. Guarded closely. Collier outside. Pass to Allen. Yes, and it's lead. Now Walker Kimbrough. Zowie via screen. Walker Kimbrough. Goes back up, and the nice bucket inside from Zowie B. Well, second chance points are crucial. We know that. So when Zawi B is rebounding like this, her team is just way harder to beat. Now here's Allen. To the left side wing. Oh. 
And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And it goes on Walker Kimbrough. You don't want to get in the habit of letting the offense get right to the rim. And that's the message they were sending with that foul, saying nothing easy inside with that one. Yeah, but they got to play a little bit better defense before they get inside. And here's Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Atkins. Here's Hawkins. Back to Atkins. Misses from short range. Now here's Allen, covered by Walker Kimbrough. Right outside. Six to shoot, and there's a pick. For the tie, hits the three-point bomb. Three. And that'll tie this game up. Now here is Atkins. Tight defense on her. The steal. Here's Carlton. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. 55. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. Fourth quarter action getting started. Here's Allen. Pass to Milic. Shot clock at six. Now here is McBride. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Yeah, a steady scorer. McBride's demeanor has intensified as she's earned more and more respect around the league. Now here is Sykes. Screen by Deladon. Pass to Cloud. To the paint. Here's Deladon. And the layup's good off the glass. Keeping her eyes up and her options open. Natasha Cloud is surgical in her approach. McBride outside. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Miller. And there it is. Intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Now here's Cloud. Pass to Deladon. Sykes. On the wing, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Brittany Sykes. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. Allen with it. Miller. Minnesota the rebound. And it's good. Two points. Inspiring enthusiasm from Collier on the glass. She understands the value of second chance points. Pass to Deladon. Sykes outside. Out right side to take the lead. Milich grabs the miss. The defense has nothing to worry about out there with her shooting because she just can't dial it in from deep this half. If a defender is going to play off of her like that, you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points on the board. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. D right on her. Back to Cloud. Here's Hawkins, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. The coach has always told me that if you battle for offensive rebounds, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on the follow, just like she got there. Now here's McBride. Miller, and it's Minnesota scoring again. 
Terrific use of the crossover there to throw the defender off balance. I like that move. Yeah, got her on the wrong foot and blew right fire. Pass to Deladon. Sykes. Cloud with it. She's covered by Allen. Clock at six. Deladon with it. Here's Sykes. Back to Deladon. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. That's the wrong person to send to the charity stripe. Deladon makes free throws at such a high percentage. At the line for two. And she makes the first. And she makes both free throws. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Over to the wing. Down low. And Allen gets it to go. Oh, man. She is so good at making those lead passes. Washington trailing. Pass to Deladon. Sykes outside. Screen by Deladon. On the wing, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. And another miss by Washington. McBride outside. Miller is so important in today's game. And every scouting report will tell you that Deladon could knock down the deep ball. Now here's Allen. Jacks up a three. A rebound by Deladon. Here's the Mystics with the ball. They trail by six. Ariel Atkins on the wing. Back to Deladon. Allen with the steal. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Amanda Sawi B. Third personal foul. First team foul. Deladon brings the double team. And she commits the intentional foul. Natasha Cloud. First personal foul, team's first. Second team foul. So the first one drops. And that makes it a seven point lead. Lindsay Allen. At the line for two. And she hits both free throws. And it's an eight point ball game. And the Mystics call time here. Guys, what do you think? Well, they'll need a very quick bucket out of this timeout. And even if they get it and then get a quick foul, there still might not be enough time. in the important hoop courtesy of Natasha Cloud remember the 2019 finals when Cloud was huge helping the Mystics for their first title shooting for the links Miller two shots good on the first and that makes it a seven point lead so she goes two for two at the line and it's an eight-point ball game. Impossible for them to come back now. Yeah, just too much work and not enough time. Three-pointer Natasha Cloud, but they recover it. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the basketball. Zowie B shot is off. Here's Allen. The Lynx get the win here. The and in the end, a comfortable win in what was a pretty hostile like environment. Yeah, you know, it's never going to be easy uh, on the road. They didn't have too many problems today. And that's a wrap, everyone.